Hi all, um, this is the second of uh, my videos about um, King Harold and the Battle of Hastings and I wanted to talk about um, the um, idea of whether Harold actually was killed with an arrow through the eye um, because one of the big um, you know popular uh, beliefs is you know among people who don't actually know very much about the Battle of Hastings or the Norman Conquest but the one thing that they will t um, often tell you and do believe is that King Harold died because he got an arrow through the eye. So um, what evidence is there uh, that Harold was killed with an arrow through the eye? Well um, at the very start of the video you saw the the famous section of the Bayeux Tapestry which shows um, a figure um, supposedly Harold clutching at an arrow um, that seems to be going into the face and um, the um, what it says above that is um, Harold Rex Interfectus Est which means in Latin Harold the King is killed and above the Harold you can see a figure um, who seems to be clutching um, at an arrow um, going into the face but apart from the Bayeux Tapestry and what that might suggest, which I'll come back to in a minute, um, the very earliest sources don't mention an arrow um, or an arrow through the eye. I mean, um, one of the earliest sources is the Song of Hastings. And the Song of Hastings um, says that Harold was killed by four um, knights and was hacked to pieces. And um, quite a few of the sources talk about Harold being dismembered in some way um, or beheaded or gelded uh, and this sort of stuff. But um, there's very little mention of any kind of arrow through the eye. Um, there is this image in the Bayeux Tapestry. Um, I don't know whether you can see it again here, but um, there you can see um, Harold and um, there you can see a figure clutching at what might be an arrow. Um, but um, um, one of the problems with that image is that um, for a start the arrow looks like it might be going up the um, part, the nose part of his um, helmet and he's pulling at it. If you just had an arrow straight through your eye you're dead. You're not likely to be there trying to pull it out. An arrow through the eye goes straight into the brain. Um, trying to stab someone through the eye um, is one of the things you try to do in a medieval battle because it kills them so quickly. You know, through the eye, straight into the brain, dead. And you're hardly going to be there trying to pull the arrow out if it's just gone through your eye and into your brain. But um, there's something else about that image as well. And that is um, that uh, when it says Harold the King, Harold Rex, he then goes on to say Interfectus Est is killed and you can see on the second part of that um, that um, under the Interfectus Est with the Tus Est, est um, having been split off and placed underneath the main um, part of that phrase you can see that there's a, a cavalry man on horseback um, basically hitting someone's legs with a sword and that's underneath is killed so is the figure being hacked down by the cavalryman King Harold is that what it's saying interfectus est pointing down towards Harold being the figure being hacked with the sword um, that hardly suggests he was killed with an arrow from the eye of course what could be happening is that the whole thing is telling the story of Harold's death and both images uh, are Harold. Harold first of all gets wounded with an arrow um, somewhere in the face but he's able to pull that out uh, but then he is hacked by a cavalryman. So um, the Bayeux Tapestry um, um, depiction is by no means clearly saying that Harold was killed with an arrow through the eye. But there's um, another interesting theory um, that's put forward in this book here, um, 1066, uh, The Hidden History of the Bio Tapestry by Andrew Bridgeford. 
and that is that the Bayo tapestry might actually reveal uh, the name of the person who killed Harold. Maybe um, was part of this four-man team or hit squad that went in um, and, and killed Harold. But um, there is um, a possible indication of who um, the main killer of King Harold was, according to Bridgeford's theory. And that is um, that um, Bridgeford latches on to the way that the um, the word interfectus est um, is killed has been split um, there's no reason um, to split the tus uh, from interfectus and place it underneath the main word um, and what Bridgeford believes is that that was done for a reason um, there's a hidden um, meaning um, in why that ha happened uh, because um, as you can see it basically spells tus est if you take the est and place the est in front of the tus it almost spells estus almost spells eustus eustus and eustus of Boulogne um, a French count um, was one of the allies of William the Conqueror at the Battle of Hastings. He had a personal grudge against the Godwin family that Harold belonged to because of something called the fracas at Dover, which happened many years before in 1051. So um, could the Bow Tapestry be actually saying King Harold was killed by Eustace of Boulogne, who was riding a horse and hacked Harold through the legs? It's possible, but it's only Bridgeford's theory. But um, it's a possible um, further insight into what happened. Um, whether you believe that or not, um, it's certainly the case that um, even the evidence in the Bayo Tapestry is by no means clear um, that Harold Godwinson was killed with an arrow through the eye. And um, based on the evidence of the other sources, it's probably um, unlikely. It's more likely that once the Norman cavalry got behind the um, Anglo-Saxon shield wall, um, then um, a group of people um, singled Harold out, um, dispatched a load of his Huskars, got through to Harold, and then killed Harold um, with swords in um, a well, he's probably a highly brutal manner, but that's medieval warfare. Anyway, thanks for listening.